Andy Dalton, <laughs> don't have to get ready if you stay ready. <laughs> Andy Dalton, a lot of people have said, uh, Andy Dalton was the problem in the Cincinnati Bengals organization. They were wrong. A lot of people said Andy Dalton, who got benched on his birthday last year, should just be happy to still have a job. They were wrong. Andy Dalton has been sitting back hearing about Joe Burrow becoming a Cincinnati Bengal and Andy Dalton not being good enough to win any games in the NFL. They were wrong. Andy Dalton goes in his backyard with his two kids who had to watch their dad get benched on his birthday and went to absolute work. <laughs> Strike, red rocket. Strike, red rifle. <laughs> Strike, ginger Tarzan. <laughs> Strike, New England Patriots quarterback next year. What? Oh. Strike. Great snap there by the kid. That was the best snap, I think. I mean, this is a very uh. impressive... It looks like it's almost on repeat, but it's not because you can tell by the two little hellion kids running around. <laughs> His lady was filming it. Andy Dalton is a man who I am a big fan of, partially because we became pseudo friends whenever we met each other, uh, at the Pro Bowl and other places, and we played the Bengals a lot. Andy has followed along with the show for a long time. But it, because Andy Dalton never gets the credit that Andy Dalton deserves. Andy Dalton would rattle off nine, ten wins straight. Ultimately, they'd end up losing in the playoffs, but they were a team that, without a very solid organization around them, Marvin Lewis, that entire group, they were able to build teams that were winning both teams and winning teams. And Andy Dalton, I think, has been a victim of circumstance here. And I think if Andy Dalton was given a chance to swim in other waters, I think that fish would fly. I think that ginger fish, fish would fly out there. I honestly do. I love that he posted his video because normally he's a very quiet normally he's very subdued not very active on social media and here we are a week before the draft where everybody has said the Bengals will be taking joe burrow it is a foregone conclusion that joe burrow is going to be a cincinnati Bengal. so what does that mean for andy dalton will he get traded the Bengals don't like doing trades will he get cut potentially but andy dalton just wants you to know in that tiny little backyard for a man that signed a lot of money he wants you to know he still got it and i love that about andy Dalton. and we've always been an andy dalton show when he yep. got in this league he won nine games ten games 11 games 10 games 10 games and there was you know some some fall off after that but was it his fault and a lot of people would say no but then again a lot of loud voices were saying yes <laughs> and that would be a problem we have always been an andy Dalton yes. show always and those throws are darts darts seats and i was a quarterback in the nfl mm -hmm. yeah i've done that drill before and I've hit one or two potentially, but not just five, six straight. I mean, that is a very impressive – because normally, by the way, there's three mm -hmm. of those on a net where you'll see guys hit like three consecutive, and one of them was probably not supposed to go in one of them, and it just so happens to hit another one. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yep. Him hitting five, six straight there, Andy Dalton just wanted to let everybody know the Red Rocket could still spit a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, for one, forgot that he had the best arm in the history of the NFL. <laughs> Yeah, that, that I mean, can be throwing, forgotten. He was throwing those footballs like 500 miles an hour. <laughs> like Brett Favre, it looked like. Yeah. Is Andy Dalton the ginger Brett Favre? Remember down in Atlanta, they hated Brett. Mm -hmm. He trades, goes to Green Bay, and that son of a bitch was swimming in, in, in freedom and in victories. Does Andy Dalton need to be let go so he can finally arrive? Is that what Andy Dalton needs? Should the Bengals cut Andy Dalton? Just cut him. Mm -hmm. Let him go somewhere else. He would be a Patriot so quick. And they'd probably win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Whoa! Do you think? Thought. Do you think there was an out of work quarterback meeting and a, and Cam gave a presentation like a PowerPoint on how to get back in the league? And he said, "Andy, you have to start posing videos of you throwing balls." Well, Cam Newton's not in the league though currently, so that would be a failed attempt. That wouldn't be the guy that would speak up. And listen, I think Cam Newton's self aware enough to know that I'm probably not the one that should be speaking here. <laughs> but Cam did recently put out another vlog. That dude is going to be a monster next year. I have no idea who's going to sign him. He put out a three-minute vlog. He had the hip-hop preacher, E.T., cutting a promo throughout the entire thing. I mean, it is – Cam Newton's going to be on a wrecking path next year, just like Andy Dalton. Mm -hmm. Don't let that redhead get out there. Don't let him get out there on the streets. He's going to be skipping down the brick road or whatever it is. <laughs> what was that girl? What was oh, girl? Dorothy. Dorothy. She's a redhead, wasn't she? Yeah. 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 She had red shoes, but yeah. Yeah, same thing. <laughs>